Yeah. So what, what happened? You know that. You tell her. Talk to the boss. Over here. Talk to the boss. Yeah. So my friend, I know there's a lot going on here. People are coming in an angry fashion. I apologize for that. We shouldn't be coming in an angry fashion. We're here, speakers corner. We should be speaking. We should be dialoguing with each other. Yeah. But I see some people coming angry, insulting your religion. This is not good. I apologize on their behalf. They should not be insulting you. Yeah. And likewise. In, in your, in the, that, you know, uh, if, if anyone do. Yes, it's in our teaching. Yeah. Exactly. So if we offend another religion, it's like we're asking for somebody to insult our religion. Yeah. Because naturally, this is your yeah, this so, is our teaching. Why, how they... But that's why I've come on their behalf because you have to understand, my friend. People are very angry. Every day. My friend, a few minutes will be good. Two minutes, man. Two minutes. Two minutes. Buy your coffee. Buy your coffee. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll buy your beef burger, man. Come here. So you see, it's only you know. Come here. They, they, they're here. They, who? Uncle, you, uh, are you with them as well? No, no, he's, he's a Pakistani Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Are you Pakistani? Okay, we want you to speak to somebody from the BJP, Uncle. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. Yes, that's yes. No point uh, asking me. Exactly, that's exactly. That's why I thought you were, you, no, no. You were there. Yeah. So, he's anti BJP. Well, we all are. <laughs> we all are, yeah. Anybody with sense. Uh, that's that's the welcome salam. How are you, brother? I appreciate it. So, you, you guys could see there was, there were some people. With fun. They were here and they they spoke in a way that's not befitting and now you saw how we approach them with respect telling them about our religion they're not willing to talk voices weren't raised we spoke with decorum and the brother wanted to speak as well but unfortunately and sadly in a time where we need to have both sides unfortunately and sadly this is not happening and this will not aid the situation Every day in the news, we are hearing negativity. Just yesterday, two people that were protesting on, in defense on, of the Prophet wasallam, they were killed by the police, by the Indian police. This is just yesterday. Today, we're seeing this on social media. So this is something, this is something that we as Muslims, we as people in the West, we're seeing every single day, be it the BBC, be it CNN, be Amnesty International. We are seeing this every single day. And when you speak to them, all they have is India today. All they have is Republic TV. All they have are their own propaganda ridden channels. And this is why it's very important that these people, the, the Hindus or the extreme Hindus or the Hindutva, they are willing to discuss and they are willing to dialogue and explain and explain to us why is it they feel enmity towards the Muslims? This is something we want to know. Why is it that they feel insecure with regards to the Christians that are there? Yeah, this is something that we would like to dialogue with. We're not here to convince anybody. We're not here to hurt anybody or offend anybody. We want answers. That's what we want. We want to know why, especially now if somebody is in India, we can understand. Look, you're in India. Yeah. Subhanallah, the BJP have infiltrated Bollywood and mainstream media. This is understandable. Republic TV, one of the anchors, Arnab Goswami. Modi is on stage praising him and Arnab Goswami is getting arrested by the police. Arnab Goswami, one of the biggest anchors in India, is constantly peddling anti-Muslim hatred. We want to know how you can be somebody in the West that is still being sucked into the propaganda. Why? <laughs> How is this possible? How? That's all we want to know. And today we had an opportunity. We had over a thousand people that are supporting the BJP, supporting the extreme RSS mentality, and they're not willing to speak. They're not willing to dialogue. The irony, you're coming to speaker's corner and you're unwilling to speak. How ironic. Yeah, and we're not here. Look, I have nothing in my hands. Yeah, I look like a journalist, mashallah. I'm here to speak. And you can see, mashallah, got nothing. And look at me, I'm skinny, I'm bony. What damage am I gonna do? Why are you scared of me? So this is something, guys, this is something that's troublesome. This is worrying. Yeah, when Muslims are putting their hand forward, 
why are you not returning that hand? And you could see the discussion that was happening. It was peaceful. The brother was listening, but two, three people came and took him away. So guys, this and we'll be here. If you are watching, we'll be here until the evening today as well. We'll be here next week as well. If you want to come, if you want to come, you want to discuss, we're here. And we want to know why you living in the West are still prone to BJP, Hindutva, RSS propaganda. This is something we want to know. Living in the West, watching the BBC, CNN, how is it that you are still mouthpieces for the Modi government? Even an objective person knows daily there are lynchings taking place. Daily, there are open calls to genocide. Daily, we know police is aiding the Hindutva. Daily, we know how the BJP is infiltrating the mainstream media. All we want to know is why you have also been infiltrated. What is it? Is it the politics? Is it your misunderstanding of Islam? If it is your misunderstanding of Islam, we are here speaking in speaker's corner. And that's why, guys, this is very important. And this is very concerning. And this is very worrying. This park is filled with Muslims, but yet they keep getting herded away. No, don't speak to them. No, don't speak to them. <laughs> why? What are you afraid of? That's my question. What are you afraid of?